Welcome my dear students of class 10 to this video tutorial on periodic table and periodic properties. To unravel the behavior of the unknown, the first step is to follow some order. A very simple example lies in the present situation of COVID-19. We know that the whole world is fighting against an unknown or rather lesser known virus. Governments all over the world are taking several novel initiatives or measures to retaliate, repair and recover from the present pandemic situation. In our country, coronavirus affected area have been divided into several zones such as green zone, red zone and orange zone. This has been done as a first step to introduce some order to understand the problem. Similarly, when elements were discovered, efforts were made to place them in an order or sequence so as to understand their behavior. Over the years, several scientists have contributed to improve the placements of these elements in a similar way as the scientists are making their efforts to discover a perfect drug or vaccine to fight COVID-19. We know that classification in older periodic table such as Dobernayer law of triads, Newland's law of octaves and Mendeleev's periodic tables had some shortcomings as because the basis of placements was atomic mass. Then came our savior, Henry Mosley, who did some pioneering research at a young age of 26 and his revolutionary work opened the windows through which we can view the world of atoms based on atomic number. And who could do it better than him? After all, he was also an army man. Mosley served the British Army during the First World War. We know the highest degree of discipline and order is followed in an army. Perhaps this temper, this mindset of Mosley helped him to induce order in the modern periodic table. He introduced the concept of atomic number. Now we will state Mosley's periodic law or modern periodic law. The physical and chemical properties of elements and their compounds are periodic functions of their atomic number. In a periodic table, the horizontal rows are known as periods and the vertical columns are known as groups. We have 18 groups and 7 periods in the modern periodic table. Now what do we mean by periodicity and periodic properties? Periodicity refers to those phenomena or properties that repeat itself after a regular interval. For example, the rising and setting of sun, the occurrence of season, even your daily school timetable reflects some sort of periodic nature. So periodic properties are those properties which show a regular gradation when we move from left to right across a period and from top to bottom down the group. We have six periodic properties in our syllabus. The first one atomic radius, number two ionization potential, number three electron affinity, four electronegativity, five metallic character and six non-metallic character. Now, each one of the periodic properties we will discuss in detail. 
let us start with our first periodic property atomic size or atomic radius we know that an atom consists of the of a nucleus at the center and electrons revolve around the nucleus in different shells now how can you define this atomic radius atomic radius is defined as the distance between the nucleus and the outermost shell of an atom since the electron cloud is diffused in space so it is not possible for us to define precisely the contour of an isolated atom so atomic radius can also be defined as half the internuclear distance between two atoms combined together to form a molecule what are the two factors on which atomic radius depends the first factor is number of shells which we will designate it as n and the second factor is nuclear charge which will be designated as z now we will discuss each factors the first factor that is number of shells and increase in the number of shells will increase the atomic radius when number of shells will be increased obviously the distance of the outermost shell from the nucleus will increase so we can say that n that is number of shells directly proportional to atomic radius second factor that is nuclear charge what is nuclear charge nuclear charge is a total positive charge present within the nucleus of an atom and it is represented by the number of protons now when nuclear charge is increased attraction of the outermost shell towards the nucleus will also increase and attraction means distance less so an increase in nuclear charge will cause shrinking in radius that means nuclear charge and atomic radius they are inversely proportional to each other z inversely proportional to r next let us see the trend in atomic radius across a period from left to right till group 17 atomic radius decreases group 18 has a different story we will come to it afterwards down a group from top to bottom atomic radius increases now we will discuss what is the reason behind this following trend now across a period from left to right just now we have seen that r decreases what are the two factors first factor is number of shells and the second factor is z now why you are traversing from left to right across a period the number of shell is constant and why we are traveling from left to right across a period nuclear charge increases just now we have seen that nuclear charge is inversely proportional to r so as we proceed from left to right across a period it is a nuclear charge that is deciding the trend of r so as nuclear charge increases atomic radius decreases 
Now let us see that y atomic radius increases down a group from top to bottom. From top to bottom down a group, number of shells increases. For example, suppose if you were asked to determine the number of shells in lithium and sodium, lithium is having how many shells? Two shells, two comma one, and sodium, two comma eight comma one, three shells. So down a group, always remember that number of shells increases. Now what about the nuclear charge? Whether you are proceeding left to right across a period or down a group from top to bottom, nuclear charge will always increase because the number of protons increases. So once again I am repeating, down a group, nuclear charge also increases. Now the first factor, number of shells, if the number of shells increases, then atomic radius will increase. But if nuclear charge increases, then atomic radius will decrease. So here we are having competition between two factors, N versus Z. And both the factors are acting in opposite direction. One is dictating R to increase. Another one is dictating R to decrease. So here it is N, the number of shells, that will be the predominating factor. So as the number of shells increases down a group, atomic radius also increases. So we conclude that atomic radius decreases from left to right across a period and it increases from top to bottom down a group. In our next session, we will study about other periodic properties, for example, ionization potential and electron affinity. Till then, keep well. Thank you very much.